Hello everyone. Today I will talk about radioimmune assay, which is very important in diagnosis and treatment. Before going to the main discussion, I would like to talk about some basic definitions. The first one is immune assay. An immune assay is a test that uses antibody and antigen. First, if we split this word immune assay, we will get immuno and assay. That means immuno refers to an immuno response that causes the body to generate antibodies and assay refers to a test. That means immune assay is a test that utilizes immuno complexing when antibodies and antigens are brought together. The next one is antibody. An antibody is a protein that is produced by the body in response to an invading or foreign substance. Antibody are produced as part of the body's immune response to protect itself. And the next one is antigen. Antigen is the substance that the body is trying to fight off by mounting an immune response. For example, the drug is the antigen that binds to the antibody. The next one is an immunogen. An immunogen is a substance that initiates immune response. For example, drug protein conjugate. Let's see the another important topic of radioimmunization, which is analyte. An analyte is measured by a laboratory test. In amino acid testing, the analyte may be either an antibody or an antigen. Immune assays utilize one or more selected antibodies to detect analyte of interest. The analytes being measured may be that the naturally present in the body such as a thyroid hormone the body produce but are not typically present such as a cancer antigen and do not necessarily occur in the body such as an abused drug dear viewers to better understand radio amino acid it is important to understand the structure of antibodies let's see the structure of antibodies antibodies are produced by the B lymphocytes the most common one is immunoglobulin immunoglobulin is a protein composed of two main structural and functional region the first one is fab region it contains the antigen binding site that between different antibodies the second one is fc region and it is the region of constant structure within an antibody class